Hello folks, this is uh, 2023 October November paper 13 and the question number is 37. It is concerned with the chapter of as you can see from the diagram. It says a potentiometer and a driver's cell of electromotive force E. So this is whole device is a potentiometer and it has a driver's cell of EMF E are used to measure the EMF of a new cell. So this is the new cell. A sliding contact at D, so this contact can be uh, slid here and here smoothly, along, uh, is moved along a resistance wire QR, QR until the reading on the volt galvanometer is zero here. What is the essential requirement for the EMF of the new cell to be measured accurately? So we have to go for the essential requirement. It says, the first one says, the EMF of the driver cell must be less than the EMF of the new cell. So it says this EMF should be less than this EMF. So let us say this is EN. Let us say whether this is true or not. The main thing is uh, because of the arrangement here, the PD across this region should be equal to P, PQ should be equal to according to the voltage divider formula equal to uh, RPQ, RPQ divided, divided uh, uh, RPQ plus RQR. QR into this E. So that's equal to RPQ divided R, uh, sorry, this was PR, this was PR, this will be RQR into this E, that is VPQ. And when we measure the EMF, this has to be at zero. So at that time, at that time, this VPQ should be equal to EN. That's why EN should be equal to RPQ by RQR into E. So here what we now have is EN equal to this by this into E. So this ratio should be always less than 1 because PQ is here, QR is here, PQ is less than QR, that's why this should be less than 1. That means this EN should be less than E. EN should be less than E. What it says? The driver cell EMF should be less than the EMF of the new cell. So this is incorrect according to this. The next is the galvanometer must have a large distance. No, not true. Because uh, what we have to have is uh, if we have this uh, less length, less length here, a small VPQ here. So when VPQ is small, current should flow like this so that it can give some readings. Some, some readings. If we place it here, this uh, VPQ will be large. Then current has to flow like this so it has to show those uh, uh, those things uh, uh, very um, uh, smartly that's why the resistance should be less this also untrue next is the internal resistance of the new cell must be zero we can't say that we can't say that because whether large or uh, small the main current flow here is controlled by the whole this thing this driver cell this doesn't really contribute to the you know, flow of currents like that so this also is untrue that only true one is the resistance per unit length of the wire QR must be constant. So in the requirement of the potentiometer, it is said that its main feature is a long wire, a long wire which has got uniform cross section. A long wire uh, which has got a uniform cross section. So because of that, what happens is we have V PQ, V PQ is equal to I into R PQ. So then this I is equal to rho L by A then R P Q. Now if we have this uh, smooth wire, uniform cross section, cross section, we must have, so this here is not here, we must have equal to, this is constant, so K into R P Q. Uh, sorry, sorry, I made a mistake here. So this is I, I into rho L P Q by A, that is. So if we have this uh, uh, cross section is uniform and the current is constant so we have this i rho by a into lpq which means this vpq depends only upon the only upon this lpq that is the requirement of the potentiometer so that means that means here we have we, we have to have a uniform cross section and when there is uniform cross section what happens is r equal to rho l by a that means R by L is equal to rho by A, rho by A. So resistance per unit length is equal to constant if A is constant. So must be constant. So this is the requirement of the potentiometer, uh, potentiometer device. So choice D should be the correct choice.